Here we have an example of a one-dimensional inelastic collision. Now, let's assume that we have two objects, one object which is initially not moving and another object which is initially moving towards the first object at a speed of one meters per second. Those two objects are colliding and if the collision is 100% inelastic, then at the end they will travel together. So the question is, what is the final common speed of those objects? Now to solve this, we're going to use that linear momentum is conserved. Therefore, uh, the momentum final must be equal to the momentum initial. This is a vector equation, therefore we should specify our coordinate system. So let's assume that to the right, as usual, is plus x. So in x direction, this one will translate into that mass 1 plus mass 2 traveling together at some final velocity is equal to mass 1 times its velocity initial plus mass 2 times its velocity initial. Now if I plug in the numbers for the right side, I'm going to have zero for my initial uh, momentum of object one. So I only have the momentum of object two. So I have one kilogram times minus, because I'm going against my uh, x-coordinate system, one meter per second. And on the left side, I have my total mass. So one kilogram plus two kilogram is two kilogram times. Now, according to my drawing, the V final is to the left, therefore I would have to uh, choose minus V final here, according to my coordinate system. So what do I get? I get uh, minus one kilogram meters per second is equal to two kilograms times V final and negative, so I divide by the minus two kilograms and I get the final, the final speed is one kilogram meters per second divided by two kilograms. The minus cancel each other, the kilogram cancels each other, so I get 0 0.5 meters per second as my final speed and if I was asked what is the final velocity I would have to say 0 0.5 meters per second to the left.